Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, or if you're returning, welcome back. Today I've got five high-end Dollar Tree farmhouse inspired DIYs for y'all. I hope you enjoy them. If you do, if you like farmhouse decor on a budget, don't forget to subscribe. And today is also in collaboration with Emily over at Farm Charm Chic, and we'll talk about that in just a little while. But first, let's get right into it. DIY number one. So I actually found these windows at the Dollar Tree and I was so excited. I guess they're windows, maybe. I Well, y'all know how I am. I call them windows, uh, window cutouts that I found at the Dollar Tree. I loved them. I thought they were so adorable. And I just knew I could do something with this. Now, my lighting's a little off right here, y'all, and I'm so sorry. See how beautiful, that's wrapping paper. I'm, again, I'm sorry about the lighting, but that is wrapping paper from the Dollar Tree. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut out a little piece for the window frame. That's what I'm going to call it, y'all. If it's called something else, someone let me know down in the comments. I'm going to take some Mod Podge and a makeup sponge, and I'm going all around this in the Mod Podge, the front of it. I'm not worrying about the insides of the frame because we're going to do something else with that. Then I'm gonna take my wrapping paper and I'm just gonna press it down as well as I can. It leaves some bubbles and like some little uh, wrinkles in it, but it doesn't bother me because you all know how I like to distress, so it, it doesn't bother me at all. If it does you, you might not wanna use Mod Podge, but for me, it wasn't bothering me at all. Now, I do go around the sides and the top and the bottom. Again, I don't worry about the insides of the uh, window frame there, but I do want to go all the way around the sides and the top and the bottom of this. This is such a simple DIY, you guys, but I love it, and it turns out so stinking cute, I think. And then I'm going to go through and I'm going to Mod Podge the top after I get it you know all on there we want to mod podge it now we're going to take our little finger sander and we're going to do our sanding trick because this is the cleanest cut i can ever get is with the sander because i can y'all know i cannot cut a straight line for anything so this is the best cut i can ever get now i tell you i can't cut a straight line and here we go i'm going to start cutting out these inside panels but i just cut them out and i don't worry about being exact yeah i had to take my glasses off Y'all, I can not see up close with my glasses on, but to see far away, I have to have my glasses off. It's crazy, which the eye doctor tells me I need bifocals. Lord, help me. But anyway, so we just went through and we cut all those panels out. Now I'm going in with some white Waverly chalk paint. I'm just dipping my brush right in it because I'm at the very end of this bottle. So I'm just going through and I just went ahead and painted all the insides. Now I'm taking the same sign that came with it and I'm just gluing some greenery around it. Kind of make it look like a wreath with maybe a sign in it. And then I just stick a little flower on there, one of those clover flowers. This greenery is the clover from the Dollar Tree, y'all. I love it. I've been using it so much lately. Now we're just gonna glue it exactly where it was. We're not changing anything up on that as far as where it goes. I considered adding some more embellishments to it, but I love how it turned out just like that. Is that not adorable and so easy? DIY number two, another super, super simple DIY here. So my husband got me this bag at Marshall's, yeah, Marshall's for $5.99 and I loved it, but I'm not one to really carry tote bags um, unless I'm going to the beach and I have my beach bag, so I, you know, but I loved the print that was on it. So I just take off the price tags and the other little tag that was on there. And I'm deciding here if I'm gonna take the handles off or not. But I decide to go ahead and do that. So I just cut the handles off as close to the bag as I can. I guess I could have used a seam ripper and like rip the stitches out, but y'all know me. Quick, easy, done. <laughs> so I just cut them off. Now I'm kind of folding it over on itself, deciding what I'm gonna do. And y'all, I use this hem adhesive stuff and it works, but let me give you a little secret about it. When you put it on and you iron it, my problem was I was wanting an instant hold. Like I expected it just to hold right then and there. 
it does hold, but you have to give that adhesive, or at least I had to, give that adhesive a little time to actually dry, I guess. I'm not sure. But it was, I liked it, but it didn't work exactly how I wanted. So I did have to go in with some hot glue, which I really didn't want to do. I wanted to do a pillow without hot glue. Y'all see, I'm reading the directions again to see if I'm doing it right. And I am, but I'm not giving it enough time to dry. And I'm using my easy press on this. That may have been another problem. And I did not have the strong hold of this stuff either. I just had the regular. And this is a canvas bag. So that's probably my problem. Any sewers out there, if you know what I've done or anything like that, y'all let me know because I'd like to make another pillow like this. And I'm actually, I made my kitchen curtains with this. I'm not a sewer. I flunked, I would have flunked home ec in school, but my mom sewed my final project for me and I passed. Yeah, I know that was a little bit of cheating. I'm sorry, y'all. I shouldn't admit that, but I, I, you know, clear transparency here. So anyway, this does work. I just wasn't giving it enough time and I probably needed the stronger adhesive for this because of the canvas bag. So if this is a combination of that hem stuff and uh, hot glue, not a lot of hot glue because I didn't really need a lot of hot glue, but I, I wanted a full dis disclosure. I want y'all to know I did have to use hot glue. So then I just get the fiber fill from Walmart and I really, this project was supposed to come out like three videos ago, but I was afraid I didn't have enough of that polyfill. And that was more than enough. Actually, I didn't even use it all. So now I'm doing it again. I'm kind of folding the corners in kind of like a present. And I'm using the hem tape again. But this is where I eventually have to go in with my hot glue and especially on those corners because when you're folding those in that doubles uh the material and with that being that thick heavy canvas i guess that was the deal i i'm not sure but it's a really cute project and it turns out really really cute when it's done and it's one that's just going to be as like a decoration on my couch um when the grandbabies come around i'll probably put it up just so they're not <laughs> getting it all filthy or something like you know that way i don't have to wash it I, because i'm not sure how i don't like to wash pillows anyway but that's just me so anyway just wanted to let you all know that but i just glue it all up and that's it it was so easy and the whole project maybe cost me seven dollars and you cannot buy a throw pillow for seven dollars so y'all, I'm in this collaboration with Emily at Farm Charm Chic, and this is our five projects for $5 or under. So we're each going to do five different projects, and each project is going to be under $5. And I'm so sorry, I just realized, uh, sorry Emily, that project was a little bit more than $5. So I apologize for that, I just now realized it. But y'all make sure you go visit Emily over at her channel. She's amazing and has some amazing DIYs. Subscribe to her. Let her know that Missy sent you. DIY number three. This is one that was a, it, I intended for it to be one thing and it totally turned into another. So I'm taking these little plates I got from the Dollar Tree. These were a dollar and they're plastic plates and there's six of them and I needed five and I loved the shape and I loved the color. I knew if I used this color, then I would not have to worry about painting them. So then I print out B-L-O-O-M on my Cricut in this polka dotted vinyl that I love. It's so cute and I've been dying to use it and finally got to use it. And I'm putting them um, one on each plate so it will spell out bloom. So, I just cannot believe I went over $5 on one of my projects, y'all. I feel so bad now. But maybe this one makes up for it because this isn't even a $2 project. So, uh, I'm going to say that this one makes up for it. But anyway, I just put those letters right there in the middle of the plates. 
B-L-O-O-N-M. Uh, again, we're spelling out Bloom because these are spring. This is a spring-inspired DIY. This is going to go on my porch when, or my back deck when I'm finished. Now I'm going to take some, what are these called? Velcro? Snapping? Yeah, Velcro is what I call it. And I'm going to stick a piece of the Velcro on the one piece on the back of each plate. Now, I tried to use one of the long Dollar Tree signs for this and it didn't work, it wasn't long enough. And this is just a piece of board that I already had. So I'm not even counting this in my cost. And again, we're at the end of that uh, bottle of White Waverly chalk paint. We're just gonna give it a rough coat. I'm wanting this to kind of look like maybe a fence, a piece of a fence, you know? old and and weathered and all that so we're not worrying about a full heavy coat now it well it is a full coat but it's a full light coat does that make any kind of sense sometimes i wonder now i'm taking the other part of the velcro i'm sticking it on the plate where the other part was i'm fastening them together that way i know i'm going to get these in the right spot now these are sticky and they will stick but i wanted a stronger hold so i went ahead and tore off that backing and i added hot glue along with uh where it was sticky now i'm just going to take some jute and i'm going to wrap it around the top and the bottom a couple times i don't think i show you all the bottom i apologize for that but i'm just going to wrap it around sorry about any background noise you all know i'm in a hotel I'm next to a something. I don't know what it is. They do work on semis, and that's probably what you hear if y'all hear anything. I do add a little bit of greenery up at the top just to give it a little bit more. And this is what it turns out like. I think it's so cute. And the reason I did the Velcro, I can change them out. DIY number four. This I think is my favorite project. So I took one of those Happy Easter little shadow box sign things and I tried to peel the paper off. It did not work. So I just sanded it down real good and I'm taking Waverly in moss, I think that said. Waverly chalk paint and moss. Now, I do have to do three good coats on this because I did sand it down, but those letters were like indented in there. So I did three good coats of that. Now I'm taking my chippy brush and my white Waverly chalk paint and I'm just going around the edges. Y'all, these, these DIYs are so simple, but I think they make a really big impact. And this one is my favorite. I distress along the sides there. I put a lamb cut out with my Cricut and now I'm putting Worthy is the Lamb. I just love this. I love the colors, I love the meaning, I love it all. My favorite DIY of this video. And then, and it's so simple y'all, one dollar, because I already had my vinyl. Is that not cute? And then I'm gonna take some more twine and we're going to glue it on the back and we're gonna wrap it around just a couple times. I want this to be simple, but I also want it to really make a statement. So, to me, the twine and the little bow I put on there really just set it off. I love this color. So now we're gonna take some of that, I'm debating, but I end up using the uh, lace ribbon from the Dollar Tree. Just make a real simple shoestring bow, stick it on there. Well, oh, sorry, I cut dovetails. I think that's what those are called. Stick it on there, and y'all, I love this. It's so adorable, and the message behind it is even more for me. One of my, well, actually, that is my favorite. And DIY number five, which is our last DIY, we are going to take one of these signs that I got from the Dollar Tree at Valentine's Day. It says, love each moment. I like this one because of the scalloped edges. So we're gonna take it, we're gonna take off this hanger. I thought I tried to save the hanger, maybe I do. Yeah, I don't remember why, but anyway, I did. Now I'm taking some Avery, Ivory. I was doing so good. Now I'm going to mess it up my words. 
I take some ivory chalk paint and we're going to do another full messy coat. I, I don't mind if any of this brown shows through because again, we're going to distress. So if some of that shows through, it just makes it easier. Now I'm just gonna take my spackle from the Dollar Tree. I know most people do this before they paint, but I forgot. I'm filling in those holes and really you could not even tell it once this all got done. And I cut out a watering can from my Cricut with this green color. Y'all know I'm not really a color person, but I'm really trying. And then I also cut out Hello Spring, which you could totally use stickers, your own handwriting, anything, in two different fonts and stuck that on there right on the watering can. And now I'm gonna take these florals from the Dollar Tree and I just cut them off their picks and I just fill this up. Now, if you see right here, I am gluing it. You see where I'm gluing it. So we're going to cover that up. So don't worry about that. I just tried to keep them all the same uh, length right there at the bottom so that we could get what we were gonna use to cover that up to cover all of the little ends right there. And I mean, I filled this baby up and maybe I filled it up too much, but I love it. Then I take some burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree and I just fold it over itself. And then I fold it over itself the other way. And we're just gonna make like a little ribbon or a little rim. And we just glued that right on there. Made a little simple shoestring bow out of some white twine that I also got from the Dollar Tree. Or wait, maybe that was Walmart. I'm pretty sure it's Dollar Tree though, y'all. And now I'm just gonna take some regular twine and we are going to make a little hanger here. I just use hot glue, glue it down, because this is not heavy at all, even with all those florals. And then I put a bead of hot glue all the way across it and put a popsicle stick on. And this is what it turned out like. So, so cute. And you know, it's spring and I am so into the florals this year. And these purples are really, I love them. So this is what all of them turn out like. I think they're really cute. The bloom is going to go on my back deck at home. When I get home this week, I, I am gonna start taking some pictures and sharing them on my Instagram and my Facebook if y'all wanna see. But I think these turned out so, so cute. And I loved this collab with Emily. She is the sweetest person. I met her through Savannah and Shayna in their Thrift Flip Thursday challenge last month, which I will be in again. And that video will be out this Thursday. So I'm really, really excited about that. So y'all make sure you go visit Emily. Subscribe to her channel. Let her know that I sent you. Y'all comment on her DIYs because she's amazing. She, I, I just love everything she does. And again, if you guys like farmhouse decor on a budget, don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget, y'all come back now. You hear? 